What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to Team of the Year! I was surprised when I woke up this morning to see Team of the Year on my uh, social feeds. I wasn't expecting it this early. I'm usually in the loop with this kind of thing, even though I'm not in EA's, you know, like here's a ballot box kind of loop. I got enough friends in this industry uh, where I usually hear things earlier than normal. Sadly, well not even sadly, to, to a great surprise, on this occasion that wasn't the case and, and I just woke up to team of the year and so today we're gonna we're gonna vote for what my team of the year is now I'm gonna do it a little bit differently to how most people would actually do it because I'm gonna vote based on who I want to get a team of the year card in FIFA not who I think deserves a team of the year card on real world performances because FIFA is a video game and I just want to have some fun team of the year cards. I don't want to see the same people all the time. And so it's highly likely that I probably won't even vote for Ronaldo or Messi. Um, even though they'll probably still win. But we've got lots to talk about today, guys. And we will start with EA's team of the year uh, notification on the website. Learn more about how this year's team of the year is being selected. See which players have been nominated. And then they have a trailer here from EA. Uh, you guys won't be able to hear this because I've got the uh, desktop audio muted. It's a one minute trailer. It's going through giving the uh, information. The ultimate team of the year. Wow, they're calling it the ultimate team of the year. That's interesting. Uh, this is the ballot box that all of the YouTubers, uh, I guess a lot of the game changers got, um, which is pretty cool. It will be amazing to see what players stats go to for the team of the year this year will they make them all like 98 99s will it be still 93s 94s and such but this is a pretty look pretty cool little feature um this doesn't actually give us much information on what i was really looking for by way of uh but by way of giving you know well yeah information in general really uh, it's just a little information segment here about how team of the year is and stuff Ultimate Team of the Year is announced on January the 7th. Now, that's quite important because the, the picks, as you'll see with Futwiz, uh, which is where I'm going to vote for my stuff. By the way, guys, drop a thumbs up on the video. It'd be much appreciated. It is gonna the, the votes end on the 5th of January, and it's announced on the 7th of January. So I can only assume that we're actually going to get Team of the Year on the 7th of January, which is way earlier than I thought. I thought we'll be looking at middle of January for Team of the Year. What it sadly means by what we've seen here is that I, I feel like uh, I feel like we're actually not going to get like a Team of the Year nominees set of cards or anything like that, which would be quite sad because I was hoping Team of the Year this year would be something new and, and, and improved on basically previous years. I was hoping that it wouldn't be just the 11 Team of the Year cards and that's it. I was hoping it would include a bench, potentially reserves, potentially all 55, like for, for example, all 55 players uh, goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders and attackers. I was hoping it would include all of these with a blue card and then the winners with upgraded cards. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Um, so, Team of the Year ballot box. For the second year in a row, the Team of the Year will be voted on by a carefully curated list of media, athletes and EA Sports FIFA community members. This collective of ballot recipients has been chosen to represent the millions of EA Sports FIFA players all over the world. Each team would be selected from a shortlist of 55 players nominated by EA Sports for their real-world performance in 2018. Custom-built ballot boxes have been delivered to each recipient, containing all 55 of the nominee player items. Each vote will consist of three attackers, three midfielders, four defenders, and one goalkeeper in the 4-3-3 formation. Each ballot recipient will cast their vote by posting a photo of their team on social media with hashtag Team of the Year vote by January 7th. That's interesting because Footwiz says... Jan oh, maybe Footwiz are collecting by January 5th. Maybe it's actually not coming... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, the ballot submitted by this group will account for 60% of the final vote. The remaining 40% of the votes will be cast by EA Sports. And, and just like last year, this is basically to, to allow EA to put in any player they want in Team of the Year and, and, and just have free reign. Uh, it, it's a weird one because with the ballot boxes, it, like no one player is really going to get a 60% vote that's going to be an anomaly player where EA can't just put in their 40% and say actually we don't want this person in team of the year we'll get who we want in team of the year so I do think the voting system is a little bit weird because EA could just do whatever they want ultimately their 40% swing is big enough uh, that they can ultimately do what they want the final team of the year will be announced starting on January the 7th with special team of the year items player items available in packs for a limited time in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team so this does uh, just go on to show that there'll be no SBCs. 
Um, it will be starting on January the 7th. I wonder if they're going to do it like they did in previous years. I think last year they actually gave us attackers, midfielders, defenders, and then the whole team instead of the other way around uh, from previous years. Uh, and then the nominees, guys. So uh, we'll actually get to the nominees via FootWiz. So we're going to be doing this uh, here. It says, have your say and contribute to, de to decide who makes Foot 19 Team of the Year presented by EA. We've been lucky enough to be invited to the EA vote who we think should make Team of the Year. And we're handing that power over to you. We're letting our community decide what team put forward as our Team of the Year to include in EA's voting pool, which will go towards the count for the final team. 55 players have been shortlisted. Uh, from this, we won a 4-3-3 uh, with the best real-world footballers throughout 2017 calendar year. Voting is open from 3 p.m. UK time on January 2nd. On January 5th, votes will be totaled up and we will be submit the players in most, uh, most votes in each position to EA as our team of the year. EA will then use these votes from ourselves and other partners involved in the voting process to create the team of the year, as we know. All you have to do is be logged in and click through the voting process to select your team. So we're going to get started. Now, as I said, guys... Um, I'm going to be voting on who I want to see as a goalkeeper in FIFA for FIFA reasons. So if you disagree with me because let's let's say I picked Allison and you think David De Gea had a better year, you, you're more than welcome to think that. And hey, if you want to go to FootWiz and vote that, go nuts. But I just I want to see different players in Team of the Year because Team of the Year generally, year on year, has just been the same core like sort of eight nine players with the odd exception here or there and i just want to see something a bit different um so first and foremost click a player to select them click them again to deselect them when you are happy with your selection click on the button below the player list so for me i want to select courtois you know he's obviously one of the most used goalkeepers in the game um he has had a great year i i, I think loris could potentially win it he's playing out of his skin for spurs uh obviously world cup win with france um, Spurs have actually had, I think, the joint best Premier League season over the 2017, generating something like 87 points in the calendar year, only matched by Liverpool, actually, after City had a couple of losses. Uh, I think that's right. That I might be a little bit off on the exact data there. Um, Alisson, I don't think, is going to get in. De Gea is always a, is a shout. But I think Courtois, Champions League winner again, uh, did good in the World Cup with Belgium. Uh, obviously, he came third place in the World Cup. Um, and for me personally, is, is one of the most used players in FIFA. Uh, one of the best players in FIFA. And then we have defenders. Click a player to select them. Click again to deselect them. When you are happy with your selection, click the continue button below the player list. So, who do I definitely want to see in Team of the Year? Van Dijk, 100%. I, I, I think he has shown himself to be the best Bet one of the best centre backs in world football this year. Varan, one hundred percent. Again, World Cup winner, Champions League winner. He's just had a, a great, great season in general, and is a fan favourite of mine in FIFA again. Now, of course, we don't have to p pick right backs and left backs. Uh, in fact, there's a, how many left backs do we have? We have Hernandez, Marcelo, who is probably gonna get into Team of the Year, uh, and Jordi Alba. I don't really care for left backs and right backs in team of the year. And I'll tell you why. Already we have on the left hand side of things in FIFA in general. Alexandro on the right hand side. We've got third in form Lala. We've got uh, flashback Juan Fran. We've got flashback Danny Alves. Having like just another high end right back is, is not necessarily something that I really care about. So I'm probably going to pick four centre backs. Again, my votes are going on FIFA reasons. So Van Dijk in FIFA would be great as like a 94 rated team of the year. Varane as a 94, 95 rated team of the year would be genuinely unbelievable. A couple of other defenders that would be good to see as team of the year players. Dejan Lovren. I suppose he got to a World Cup final, didn't he? And he's play playing, you know, he's playing that Liverpool team that are playing really, really well. That's interesting. Kieran Trippier had a fantastic World Cup with England, so might might not be against seeing him. Out of these selections... Who would I want to see in FIFA? I, I would want to see Manolas and I'd want to see Koulibaly. Th those would probably be the four. I've gone for four centre-backs because I just I feel like centre-backs would be much, much better to have. As I say, full-backs, doesn't matter what you get in full-backs in FIFA, right? Like, look look at past team of the years. People still go for just gold Carl Walker at right-back and just gold Alexander at left-back all year because they're so good. So let's get four good centre-backs in team of the year. Varane, Van Dijk, Manolas and Koulibaly will be my vote. And we're going to continue on into the midfield. And this is where it gets tricky because we only get three midfielders to select from. Click a player to select them and one to deselect them. Um, Royce is interestingly here as a midfielder, which I like. 
there's a lot of great players. For me, this man has to be in it. I know he's been injured the back end of this year. Uh, I actually don't think he will get in team of the year just because of the fact that he's been injured. Um, although, again, a semi-final performance for... Sorry, a uh, third-place playoff performance for uh, De Bruyne. Third place in the World Cup is great. Modric is a tough one as well. I know he won the Ballon d'Or. Uh, I, I highly expect him to get into team of the year. He's not on my list you know the, again this is this is my list when i look at these players for for who i would want out of these players in strictly fifa terms for team of the year there's actually four players that i really really would love to see marco royce ivan pedisic paul pogba and kevin de bruyne now kdb already has a 93 rated fatmas card so he's 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 only a couple of informs away from actually getting team of the year caliber cards if if already actually his 93 rated Futmus isn't already considered a team of the year caliber card i think a lot of people will vote kante i don't think we'll see dibala i don't think we'll see isco or casemiro i actually don't know who we'll see from these midfielders we're probably going to see this aren't we we're, we're, we're definitely going to see Modric and tony Kroos in the official team of the year in my opinion we're going to see both of those guys the, th the third player out of these teams out of these players i honestly couldn't pick it maybe we see matuidi won the world cup with france big big year with juventus maybe we see paul pogba again maybe we see kante maybe we see a world cup winner in here marco royce has obviously had a good good year after coming back from a lot of injuries but i don't think he's done enough to actually deserve to get into team of the year but i i can't i cannot pick based on merits who would get in team of the year what i will pick though once again dudes is who i think is going to get in team of the year or no not who i think is going to get in team of the year who i want to get in team of the year based on fifa alone and i want to see royce and i want to see perisic and i think i want to see paul pogba i think those three would make an, an amazing set of players in team of the year now we have had paul pogba in team of the year a few years ago when he was at juventus just before he went to united and that card was amazing we will never see the likes of Royce or Perisic in Team of the Year, ever. And so it would be ma amazing. Imagine this Perisic with a 5-star, 4-star, with a 93 or 94 rated Team of the Year boost in January. It would be a phenomenal, phenomenal card. Marco Royce, the fact that he already has a 90 rated Player of the Month card, his Team of the Year card would probably be like a 96 or a 97. It would be unbelievable. And so those three are going to be my votes for Team of the Year. Now, again... I hope you guys realize that I am voting for players that I want in FIFA, not for players that I think deserve Team of the Year based on merits, because this is a voting for FIFA 19 Team of the Year. This isn't voting for who do you think should be in Team of the Year. I think the Team of the Year has already been announced, right, the, the, during the Ballon d'Or winner section. And then last but not least, we have the attackers. Now, there's a lot of attackers that I want to see as Team of the Year cards in this game. Um, uh, uh, for who, who are we going to see in Team of the Year? Are we going to see these two straight away? Are, are Messi and Ronaldo shoe-ins? Probably. Do we see a French forward? Do we see Griezmann or Mbappe? Because like Mbappe, with how well he's played for PSG and, and the fact that he scored in a World Cup final as a teenager, it's hard to look past him just anyway. But you're then missing out on Eden Hazard, who's had a great year. A great year. Neymar, who's had a great year. Kane, who got the golden boot in the World Cup and had a, has had a great year. Griezmann scored a lot of goals for Atletico, although he does score a lot of penalties. Um, but again, World Cup winner. Mo Salah, of course, has had one of the years of his life, you know, scoring an insane amount of goals in the Premier League last season, which was half of this year, counting towards team of the year. He's on form again this year. I think he's a joint... No, he's the second... It, Kane and Aubameyang are top scorers in the Premier League on 14 goals each, I think, maybe 13. Salah's one goal behind. He's playing out of his skin again. Bell would be great, team of the year card. He's never going to get in team of the year. Yeah, he won the Champions League with Real Madrid again, but he, he, does, he sometimes he doesn't even start for Real Madrid, right? So he would never make it. Mane, I don't think I want in. For me, and who do I want in team of the year for FIFA purposes? Not these two. I think these two will get in. I think Ronaldo and Messi will get into team of the year. I don't want to see Ronaldo and Messi in team of the year. I want to see Neymar. I want to see Mbappe. And then finally, it's tough for the last pick because Eden Hazard already has informs and player advance. And, and funnily enough, actually, guys, the team of the week this week doesn't contain Cristiano Ronaldo and doesn't contain Kante. 
and they both have team of the week performances that I think they should absolutely get. And off the back of that, it makes me feel like EA's 40% vote is enough that's already decided that Kante and um, Ronaldo are going to get into team of the year. I think, you know, just power of deduction and it's an entirely an assumption, but Hazard is in team of the week. So if Hazard wins the team of the year vote, well, I actually just don't think he will win team of the year vote because and and who I think I think I think we're going to see Ronaldo, Messi, and Mbappe as team of the year players this year. I think those will be the three attackers. Ronaldo and Messi have base ninety four rated cards. Messi already has a ninety five rated card uh, and a ninety six rated card. We don't need a team of the year, Messi. I love Messi, right? I love watching Messi play football. I love using Messi in FIFA for half of a game because for some reason EA gave him ridiculous stamina. I love Messi and I love Ronaldo. Ronaldo, year on year, has consistently been one of the best players in this game. He has custom animations, a custom body type, the five-star, four-star. Everything about Ronaldo just fits his game. He already has the 95 UCL card. He doesn't need a Team of the Year card. I hope we don't see these two cards just because they already have end game cards as their base cards and they already have upgraded cards that are so good. To a degree, Neymar with the 94 Team of the Group Stage card already has a Team of the Year style end game card. I would like to see cards that we don't see. I would like to see Mbappe as a Team of the Year. I would like to see... For me personally, I, funnily enough, although Neymar does have the 94, I would like to see a Team of the Year Neymar. I would like to see Neymar with 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 94 or 95 shooting and 90 passing with 5 star, 5 star. I think Mbappe and Neymar would be great. And then last but not least, for me personally, I, I, I think I would like to see Eden Hazard in Team of the Year. I think those are going to be my three picks for, um, for FIFA 19's Team of the Year. And then we're going to submit those. I wonder if it shows me my team. So that's my team, guys, right there. Neymar, Hazard, and Mbappe as my attackers. Pogba, Perisic, and Royce as my midfielders. Uh, Kuli, Bali, Varane, Van Dijk, and Manolas as my defenders. And Courtois as my goalkeeper. Now, once again, guys, I just want you guys to know, and I want to reiterate the fact that this isn't picked based on who I think had the best year in real-world football. This is picked on who I want to get Team of the Year cards in FIFA for the fun of the game and for utilizing and using players in-game for fun. That, guys, is my squad. Um, and that is going to be the end of the video. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section below who your picks for Team of the Year were, or at least your top three picks would be amazing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.